A lot of riders having a look over the shoulder and seeing where they're best placed. Must be said there's one or two riders. Go Arch. Peter Mullins is in the black and orange colours. She's trying to challenge for the Australian title. Lizzie Williams in the back. There's been a big fall. Sarah Roy is starting to challenge. Edmondson looking for the prize. And do we see Mullins bursting through? It's Sarah Roy at the front. It's Roy who gets the win. It's Mullins who's in second position. Lauren Kitchen is third. A round of applause for Sarah Roy. Ever be on the honour roll as the Australian Criterium Champion 2014. Put your hands together for Sarah Roy. And the presentation for the Women's Under 23 Criterium Championships, Adrian Anderson, the CEO of Cycling Australia, is joined by <laughs> Councillor Amy Johnson from the city of Ballarat. It'll be Adrian Anderson to present the medals, starting with the bronze medal, going to the South Australian, it is Jessica Mundy. In second place, and collecting the silver medal all the way from Western Australia, it is Rebecca Mackey. And the new Australian under-23 criterium champion from Queensland, it is Emily Roper. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the National Anthem of Australia. The presentation of the Mars Elite Women's National Criteria Championship. Once again, we're joined by Adrian Anderson, representing Cycling Australia, and Councillor Amy Johnson from the city of Ballarat. Adrian Anderson to present the medals, starting with third place, the bronze medal, all the way from New South Wales. It is Lauren Kitchen. In second place, and the silver medal, the Victorian on the podium, Peter Mullins. <laughs> the winner, and with it comes a gold medal and a green and gold jersey, it's the new Australian champion. Put your hands together for Sarah Roy. <laughs> and Adrian Anderson to present the trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the National Anthem of Australia. Sarah, congratulations. You know, you and I talked about an hour before the race. You look relaxed, you look calm, you look collected. And you said that the Road Nationals, none of the races, were something that you were training for specifically as you were getting ready to go join your new team in Europe. Now, either you had your best poker face on, or you're just as surprised as we are. Tell us a little bit about the race. Um, 
um, I did have a little bit of confidence going into the race. I know that if, I, if I'm having a good day and a bit of luck is on my side, I do have a good finish. And I spoke to my coach Nat Bates on the phone last night and she gave me a lot of confidence and, and you know, her last words were, just back yourself, you can do can it. Can you walk us through that, that first crash at the turn? Um, I'm not sure what happened. I think the very first crash early on in the race is actually on the straight up here and the girls are probably just a little bit nervous. It's a national championship, everyone's a bit shaky and wants to have a good race and probably clipped a wheel or something like that. I'm not really sure but when it's on a straight that's usually what the case is and the second crash was in the last corner coming into the finish at the very end there and um, I'm not sure what happened but it was probably just a bit of speed and, and again a bit of nervousness in the bunch with the girls and um, I'm just really happy to hear that everyone's okay.